Hi guys and welcome back. So how to save your cryptos? Because we have different alternatives, but are they secure at the same way? And there is a better strategy according to how much money you have and what you want to do with your cryptos. Let's discover that together. And there is also another thing that we'll do together is a giveaway. I have prepared for you a giveaway of here are two treasures. And here is another one that is a pretty interesting thing that I will tell you just in a moment what it is. Stay tuned because at the end of this video, I will also tell you how you can win one of these uh, uh, prizes. What we'll do together is understanding the differences between the three ways of take care of your cryptos. And we will also unbox a treasure that I just received. And uh, I want to tell you how it works and also if it is worth the case to have a harder wallet or not. Just before to start guys, let me say that this channel is about educational content, nothing has to be intended as financial advice, do always your own research before doing anything guys, that's so important. And guys, don't forget to check out all our links in the description below and don't forget also to leave us a big, big thumbs up, drop a comment, let me know which is your favorite hardware wallet and also how you take care of your cryptos. Are you using a centralized exchange? Are you using a hardware wallet or simply an application like a BitGet wallet on your mobile phone or maybe MetaMask, Trust Wallet or whatever you are using. Let me know it into the comment section. Let's try to dig into the matter and understanding which is the differences between the three methods. So I want to start with centralized exchanges because most of the people are thinking, well, why I should take care of my cryptos while I can simply deposit them into, I don't know, Binance or whatever it is. Well, first of all, we have already seen with FTX that this kind of choice is not 100% secure. Honestly speaking, I do think that if you are a trader, you have to use a centralized exchange. My suggestion if you want to keep your cryptos on a centralized exchange is, first of all, don't keep too much. Don't use them as a custodian because they are not. In the moment when you are giving your cryptos to them, you don't have any more the custody. So if you are keeping them inside this one, or better, it's not really inside. I will explain what I mean just in a moment. The point is that you have full control when you are having them into your wallet. If you are just giving them to a centralized exchange, Yes, you have a support because obviously if you lose the keys, it's like you don't have any more the keys to get it back into your place, to your home. Well, you can call someone that can open you the door while you are using something like this. Well, if you lose the keys, this amount of money is gone probably forever. So that's a big problem. Before unpacking that, let me share with you one thing. Can you see my screen? Well, this is just a Ether scan, so a way to check the transactions that are happening on the, on the chain. The reason why I'm sharing with you this screen is to make you understand that in the moment when you are holding your cryptos using a wallet like this one, it's not that you are having your cryptos inside it. It's a different story. Remember, your cryptos will always be on chain. It's on the blockchain. In the moment when you check any address, I don't know, we can click up to this address over here, for example, as you can see into this interface, you will see all the all the cryptos that are into this wallet. And that's the point. Cryptos are always into the blockchain. It's not that if you're using a harder wallet, you are having your cryptos into that hardware thing. So why everyone is suggesting you to use a hardware wallet? Well, there is a specific reason. A hardware wallet is enabling you to manage the keys. The keys, as like, it is like when you want to go back to your place, you need the key to get in. In the moment when you're using a hardware wallet, the keys to get in are into your hardware wallet. While on the other side, if you're using an application like Bit BitGet Wallet, Trust Wallet, or, or whatever you are using, MetaMask and so on, well, the keys are saved somewhere into your phone or into your computer. Obviously, if you are saving your keys into a hardware wallet, your keys are not anymore connected to the internet. So there is no one that can 
access your keys. So understand, guys, the difference. It's not that you are holding your your cryptos into something outside, so like uh, into your Trezor wallet, but you are just managing the keys. Remember, guys, that no matter which kind of solution you're using, if you're using a harder wallet or a hot wallet, mobile wallet, whatever you're using, the passphrase will always give access to the wallet, to the crypto. So doesn't matter if you're using a harder wallet or just a hot wallet, if you're losing your passphrase, everyone will be able to access your keys. That's the reason why also, for example, Trezor has introduced this one. This is called Keep Metal. And I will share what it is also through my computer because it's a pretty interesting thing and also it's pretty nice as a kind of design. I will not open because I want to gift this one to you. Otherwise, I will be unpacking that uh, just into this uh, uh, video. But I want to say I want to just give it away to you. The way it works, it's pretty simple. You have inside something that is allowing you to write like into this metal thing because the big problem of saving any kind of passphrase is that if it is on paper and some water it ends up on top of that or, or it can be burnt or whatever you are at risk to losing the passphrase while on the other side with this one it is steel that is metal you are much more safe so you can write on this device your passphrase you can seal it and you can put it wherever you think it's more safe so if you want to be 100% sure, you can even buy more of these devices and ask into your Trezor to generate more passphrases. So in the moment when you want to recover an account, it's not just that you have, you need, I don't know, 20 words, but you need more sets of words that are needed in order to unlock your uh, wallet. If you want to recover without having, I don't know, the hardware wallet or the private keys. This is something that obviously is more, much more safe. Remember that if you want to use, for example, this uh, Keep Metal, it has a cost. So obviously, if you're just holding 10K, it doesn't make much sense to buy, I don't know, 10 of them. But if you are holding, I don't know, 10 million, well, that's another story. So the kind of need and the kind of level of security depends on how you want to use it. Okay, guys, let's now try to unpack this. Treasure. So this is the box and we can try to open it up. So to open it, just pull this over here and it will open like that. You will have the ability to uncover it just less. And that's what you will get inside. So this is our treasure. It's a small device, as you can see, it's pretty small. Also pretty nice, the kind of color behind. Here is also the guide if you want to get started. I will skip it for now. And here you have the cable if you want to connect it to uh, the uh, computer. It's a USB-C. So this is the device. And this is where your keys are stored. Guys, it's important to understand. This is just about storing the keys. And if you want to use it, you can even use it on DeFi. Let's say that you want to take a loan from, uh, I don't know, Ave. All you have to do is just connect the device to your computer and you will be able to use also the DeFi as much as you want. Okay, guys, if you want to receive one of these, as you can see, I have two treasures exactly like this one. Or also I have a Keep Metal, exactly as I will tell you in a moment. What you have to do is just click on the link that I will leave you into the comment section plus also in the description below. In that link, you will have a competition. All you have to do is just to fulfill a couple of tasks, social tasks, nothing too complicated, and you will have the ability to win one of these free uh, prizes. Plus, guys, keep an eye on this channel because I'm organizing a big giveaway into the coming weeks. So stay tuned because with the alt season that is coming closer, well, that's the right time to tune in. Don't forget that. This is the time. This is what we were waiting for four years. 
So that's the time to make money and to be ready for that. Okay, guys, don't forget to leave us a big, big thumbs up. And don't forget, if you want to receive one of these treasures, just participate to our giveaway and you can find it just by clicking into the comment section. There is a link to our Gleam competition or just into the description below. Guys, I will see you soon with another video. Bye, guys.